These are our multiplication circle trays. The smaller one will do times tables of 10 times 10, and the larger can do up to 15 times 15. So in the shop, you'll pick which size board you want and add that to the cart, and then go to the number coins listing and get yourself either two sets of one through 10 or two sets of one through 20, depending on which board you have. And that will be for your center and inner ring. And then the colored coins are the multiplication set, and that's what you'll use on the outer ring. And it works with both flat and pegged coins. So this is what they look like when you've filled them up. So I have my non-colored coins here and I picked out what number I'm multiplying by and put it in the middle. And then one through 10 on this inner ring for the smaller board or one through 15 for the larger. And then the colored multiplication coins around the outside. So this shows you skip counting if you just bounce from coin to coin, 6, 12, 18, 24. And then it shows you multiplication if you work your way from the inside out, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48 and division if you work from the outside in. 18 divided by three is six, or 24 divided by six is four. This is simply showing once I changed my number in the middle to fives, now I'm using the green row, which skip counts by fives. These trays also work really well with our life cycle coin set. So you can use pegged or flat coins once again, and they have different animal sets on there. So you can sort them onto the tray to create a life cycle. So that one is the butterfly, and then on the larger board I have the chicken, and I just use some stones and felt balls to fill in the empty holes. And now I have the board set up so that you can do spelling and color sorting. So this is our set of color gradient coins, and then you can set it up for a color wheel going in rainbow order on there, or you could focus on maybe just all of the warm tones or the cool tones. And then here I have our alphabet letter coins, and this is starting with the B in the middle and then reading as you work your way out. So bun, bam, beg, bin. So just another activity you can do on these trays. And here's one last idea I have for you using these trays. You can fill them with stones or glass gems or wood balls, um, dried corn, and make really pretty mosaics on them. I did just have one more idea. I took a batch of Play-Doh and I smushed it on the board. And so when you peel it off, this is what you get. So this would be really fun to just push down with your fingers, or you could take the different pieces and push them into the Play-Doh to make your mosaic like that.